Oh my goodness. Well, hello there. Welcome in. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I'm sorry my uh, preview is starting out. It's going to be published a little bit later than normal. I was actually out and about trying to get uh, some more jewelry for you all um, and uh, try to get a little filming done and that kind of stuff. So I do apologize um, if the dogs bark, I'm sorry. If they go crazy, I'll stop it and restart, as I always do. But anyway, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, hi. Thanks for clicking. Um, if you would like to participate in tomorrow evening's fun shenanigans, which is mostly auctions, but I do do we do do buy it nows as well, um, and just just a fun time. Um, I just need you to register with us. So you need to pre-register. I'll have all of that information in the description box of this video. It's a real easy jot form. You just fill it out, press send, and then you're registered. Um, and you also need to uh, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, yeah. And if you all get a chance, I would really appreciate if uh, you would click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Um, it just helps me out and I do appreciate it. Anyway, this is a preview video, like I said. Um, now, uh, I have all this wonderful, beautiful stuff back here, but I am gonna show something that is not necessarily in my wheelhouse, um, but I got it today and I'm, I consulted a professional. Well, he is a professional, anyway. Um, and um, I don't know if it's you know necessarily for uh, my YouTube family, um, but I'm gonna show it regardless. Um, it is a, uh, I, was, I don't know, I'm excited about it. I might as well just show you. It is a signed, oh my God, why is Kirsten, why am I, I'm just losing my mind. Um, this is a uh, Shriner. Uh, yeah, I was just double checking, whatever. It's a large butterfly trembler, like they tremble. Well, they do, they're just, here's the back of it. They, they do tremble somehow. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with it too much because you know, um, anyway, it is, um, authentic. It is a signed piece. Um, it is in, well, I don't know. I think it's in really fantastic condition. There is some wear a little bit. You see to the springs back here, but there's no repair work or anything. Um, it is signed right over here. Um, and this is a large one. Um, it has the introverted stones, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, um, if you are a costume jewelry person, um, if you know about Shiner, and I guess specifically the large size Trembler butterfly brooches, um, then you'll know how much they are. Um, I'm going to be extremely reasonable because, like I said, this is not in my wheelhouse. Um, but this is something that I am willing to uh, pre-sell. But um, you need to come to me um, and uh, let me know. And I'll let you know what I'm asking. Um, it does not have to go to auction. Um, I just, you know, I was thrilled to be able to bring it and get it. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and talk, talk, talk. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so this is a sign Shriner large butterfly trembler brooch in like the pinks and mauves and that stuff. Anyway, it could probably use a cleaning. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, there we go. There's that one. Um, I'm just gonna, bear with me. I do mostly, you know, non-costume, but I did get some really pretty costume today, so I figured I'll show them. Um, I don't do a lot of this, but I, whatever. I don't know. I thought these were really pretty. These are Kramer, signed Kramer, um, and I just thought they were really pretty. I really like the champagne color. It's not coming across great. Sorry about that. It's much richer colors in person, um, but you know how that goes. Really pretty. Okay, and then these are, who are these? These are really pretty Weiss. These are fan, like flipping fantastic. Look at that, like never worn it looks like. I don't know. Gorgeous, am I not zooming in well enough? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm rushing and I should probably slow my roll a little bit. I do apologize. It's just, I know my kids on his way home from school. Dogs are gonna freak out, you know, just life stuff. These are Eisenberg ice and I have them backwards and I just thought they were pretty, the colors. And these are in wonderful condition as well. Like no weird gooey ickies or fading or cracks or chips or whatever. Anyway, those are really pretty. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, I recently have a couple male customers. Um, now, listen, to me, jewelry can be gender neutral, whatever, I could give two poops. I, when it's not 150 million degrees out, do love a nice crisp shirt with the French cuffs and I do like um, cufflinks. But 
I'm just showing these when I say man. It could be a woman. I don't care. Whoever. But these are really cool. And I got these today, too. Um, it's a little set. So we have the, um, I don't see a signature. They're very Renoir or Matisse looking. Um, but they're, look at the beautiful condition. So we have the cufflings and the tie clip. Um, yeah, just really, really wonderful. Amazing condition. And I don't see a signature. So I'm just going to call them really cool mid-century modern little set there. Okay. That's in copper. And then these I did, these are, these are old. These are beautiful. These are sterling silver and these are just cufflings. Um, these are old. I don't know if these, I think these are Mexican. Um, they are the tribal men. These could, they could be Peruvian. I don't know, but I'm just gonna say tribal sterling um, cufflings. And they're, this is the kind of cuffling I, the old school. Now I do know some people will use these as button, you know, to put them through a button, like at the top of their, instead of a tie or whatever, and you can wear two of them, but these are cufflings, these particular ones. Anyway, I have it upside down. So, okay, there's that for some more men accessory. I don't know. Okay, there's that. <sighs> Let's see. I have this amazing, fantastic. This is an antique. This is sterling silver and rose gold filled. So the whole, here, I'll just take it off here. The whole bracelet part is sterling. And this is the rose gold felt. Now, this is on here very securely. You see, it's all there, nothing wrong. But this does move a little bit. Okay, uh, I did take it to a jeweler, and they said it's it's in there. It's secure. Um, like, they didn't want to mess with it. Now, you know, I'm sure you can go somewhere and they can pound that. But I'm afraid if we pound that and make it a little tighter, it might compromise the sterling. Because this is a much older piece. Uh, but look how beautiful. Little boo boo. This is this is an antique, so it's you know a little boo boo's. Very little boo boo's, considering how old it is. Anyway, so this is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Okay, that one. I'm showing something that's not jewelry. I think I'm going through this kind of fast, and I apologize. So this is good a percha. Do homework. I'm sure Jason or Sunday Bible someone has you know a video on this stuff. Um, this is old. This is circa 1860 to 1880. Um, there's a little tiny boo-boo there but it is an old school little photo frame um, with the original whatever this is the advertisement anyway um, it still closes and it's just really really pretty so this is I don't know I don't have a tape I'm so unprepared oh my goodness I'm so sorry it wouldn't oh I do have a tape measure not tape measure whatever a ruler so just to get an idea this is three inches by two and a half so three inches by two and a half so it's really lovely like i said there's just a little issue here that's it um but you know it's still other than that amazing absolutely amazing um so like i said uh 1860 to 1880 and every now and then i do like to bring you know little things like that i don't know it's an accessory right sort of i don't know it's little it's pretty it's interesting hmm I'm speaking a mile a minute. Okay, so I don't always show the stuff back here, but I'll show a little bit because I said that last week and I showed some. So yes, I do have, like I do, a Tasco. Now this is, um, oh, this one's an older piece. This is absolutely amazing. This is a big, when I say big, I mean wide. Sterling silver. <sighs> Panel. I don't know. I didn't even, you know, whatever. It's signed, uh, has the, I don't even know. I can't see right now, um, but I can go over all of that. I'll have all that in my notes tomorrow. Um, but just so you have an idea, this is, doo -doo -doo, what are you? You are almost one and three quarters of an inch. So under two inches, but not that much under. It's a big, beautiful bracelet. Yeah, like big. Okay, they were got that. And then this one is uber cool. Well. I don't know, I think it is, but this one I do need my notes for, okay? So this is a vintage Tibetan reposé sterling silver. So this is all hand done, all hand pounded sterling silver. And then it's over what I believe to be horn. It looks like horn to me. Um, it is a bangle, but this is all handmade. Look at this. And this is all sterling, the whole top layer. You can see how they have the layering over it. Absolutely stunning piece. Um, and this is about eight inch for an eight inch wrist, but you have to be able to get it over your hand. Really, really cool piece. Um, yeah, so 
It's an oldie but goodie. Did I have that on there? No. Yeah, I did. Okay. Wow, I'm definitely rushing. Okay. It's good. It's all good. Um, let's see. Let me see. What else do we want to show? I don't even know. I have, as always, you know, a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't have a whole lot of turquoise this week. I do have some. Um, I have a lovely, okay, I'll just show it real quick. This one, okay, this one makes me smile. I don't know, but look, it's a cowboy on its horse. Of course, it's riding on top of a huge chunky turquoise. So, you know, I just had to get that. Maybe because it's where I live. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, is that, is it signed? It says Sterling. There might be an initial. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I thought that was cool. So that's a piece of turquoise I'll have this week. I don't know if I have, I think next week I have more turquoise. I think I was doing, this week was mostly Sterling and just other stone, I think. Um, for some of my larger fingered ladies, um, this amazing. This is an older piece. Now listen, I do not know what stone this is. For any of my stony people out there, what is this? I don't know, but this is a chunk of heaven. It's a awesome, big, cool ring. Yeah, so what size is this one? I think I actually have my notes on this one. Let's say, I don't know. Where are we? Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you right this minute. Don't I have it up here? I'll have to look somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'm not even in frame. See, I told you I'm not, I'm all over the place. So let's see. Uh, I think this was a, what is this? Nine and a half or so. Um, anyway, it's fantastic. Older piece, so nice. And then um, we have Rainbow Moonstone. People have been asking for it. So, you know, I've got some. Look at this amazing, crazy town. Sterl this is a flippin' sculpture. Look at this. This is sterling, silver, and garnet. What? Look at that. This is, I don't know, abstract, like, spacey coolness in a ring. Really cool. Anyway, yeah. So if you'd like a big statement, there we go. Now listen, last week, I'm sure I'm going to tell it again because I tend to repeat stories sometimes because not everyone who watches my previews come to my sales and vice versa. But last week, at the last minute of my show, Someone said, Kirsten, what's that bracelet that you're wearing? And I was like, oh, crap, I just got it in that day. Anyway, long story short, which I'm not good at doing, da, da, da. Um, I sold it. Um, and I was actually, I don't normally get sad after selling things. I'm usually very happy. And yes, I'm happy for the person who bought it, but I wanted my bracelet. So I went ahead and I found another one. And I was so excited because, you know, you don't always find the same exact thing. I didn't even look at the size. Well, guess what? It's huge. It's way too big for me. Um, so shoot, here we go. So I literally sold the same one last week, um, but it was a lot smaller. And this one is a large size. This is a seven and a half, I think. Um, and that was my bad. I just didn't pay attention. And this is in mint, mint, beautiful condition. This is, is this Tasco or just Mexico? I don't recollect. This is, oh, this is Mexico. Um, um, Onyx, just amazing. Just really gorgeous, but it's way too big. Now, before I go and take out links from it, I wanted to bring it to you all because it's this, I won't be able to do myself. This one I would have to actually take to a jeweler because it's that well done. I can't just pop them out myself. So anyway, so my stupidity of not paying attention, you know, there we go. So we've got this beauty. So for the few people that were bummed that it was so tiny last week, here's your chance is to get the same bracelet at a much larger size. Um, yeah, there we go. I need some water. Are you guys drinking water and gals, ladies, men, identify as whoever you identify as? Water. Very good. Mm. I live in the desert and um, you have to, have to hydrate. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, I'm so glad I can make myself laugh. Um, as you can tell, my medicine has worn off. Um, if you're new here, I have ADHD, a little bit of OCD. But everyone still loves me, right? Anyway, I've got this really cool, this is Three Graces. It is set in sterling silver. This is a newer piece, um, and it's some sort of resin. This is not uh, glass, um, but it still glows. Look at that, really pretty. This is a large piece, and it is, like I said, all encased in sterling on a really lovely sterling box chain. Um, yeah, so I thought it was cool. I wanted to get it. Um, the pendant itself is a large one, just so you get an idea. It's uh, over two inches, two and a half inches, excuse me, so. Three graces, very pretty. So I just thought that was a little different and I wanted to grab that for you. I'm not even sure what to show. Um, I just have I just have a lot of stuff as always, you know. Look at this, sterling silver, Gucci link, puffy. This is a puffer, look at that. 
Look how huge this is. Awesome. Totally cool. It's not that heavy, um, which is nice because it's a real big bracelet. So got that. Um, I do have, I will have some just, you know, some glass beaded necklaces. I do remember someone did ask about that last week. I do have a couple, not a whole lot, but a couple. Um, what else? Oh, I bought another amazing bead ball sterling. This one's on a sterling chain, I think. Let me double check. Is this the one? Yes, this one is on a sterling chain. This one is very big and long. So they are graduated. It comes down. I did not polish it. So I like the patina. Um, if someone does buy it and you're not happy that it's not super shiny, I will most certainly send you a couple. This would take a couple cleaning cloths, I think. But anyway, um, these have been a staple in my wardrobe and I feel that they should be a staple in all of your wardrobes. They're great to wear alone, to layer with, you know, all different things. And yes, the bow has returned. I found another uh, vintage sterling silver. I do not know if this one is Tasco. I think it is. It might just be Mexico. Um, this is a pendant brooch and this is on a baby ball. <laughs> anyway, I love this. Um, I have one. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow night and whoever buys this, we can twin. Um, yeah. Okay. What else? Um, boo boo. I have mid-century modern Israeli gorgeous sterling silver. Not sure if it is gold filled or gold. I have no idea. This little ball right there. I don't like when it's on the front of jewelry scratching because that can damp. It will damage. And I really, this is in such beautiful, amazing condition. Okay. I'll grab it. You're asking me to look at that. Unbelievable piece. Really beautiful. Then I just put it on a snake chain. I did have it on a torque, but um, I don't know. I kind of didn't love it on a torque. It was okay. You have to have a very thin torque for that one. But when I got that, you know, a couple weeks later, yes, I've had that for a while and I've just been loving looking at it. Look at these artisan made amazing earrings. What? Sterling silver and like, just like the other one. I don't know. These might be vermeil. I have no idea inside there. Those balls encased in there. But these are fantastic. So... I thought it was a great look. Um, not that you need to buy it all together. You know, I'm just, you know me, I like the aesthetics of how my back looks, my background. So along with the same type of thing, we got some more nubby balls. Anyway, got all that fun stuff. I will have an, a lot of rings. Um, just letting you know now, I just got in, oh my God, just to give you an idea, I'm not selling all these tomorrow, but this whole case is full. This is on all of this inside out is all new rings. Um, no, I'm not going to show them all, but, uh, yeah. And then wait guys, there's more. This is all basically rings, you know, I just, there's a lot now. Now they're not all coming tomorrow because you know, I have to ration or else I don't have enough stuff, but this one, look at this hunk of love. This is a signed piece by, I did not even look this person up. Deb, Gaia, G-U-Y-O-T, know nothing about this person, but it is uh, black onyx, and then we have labradorite, carved ring. It's very, now, it's too big for me uh, this way, but it's smooth. It's not, I would think it would be too puffy and big and uncomfortable. It's not. Absolutely, no, I don't have all my studio lights on, so I'm having a hard time showing you the gorgeousness of this all, but it is unbelievable. I don't know. Um, let me see what size this one is. This one is a size eight, size eight. So anyway, this will be here tomorrow. So I will look up this person. I don't know, but uh, it is signed. Absolutely stunning. Really cool piece. So yay, 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 yay. Um, are you still here? Hello, hello people. Okay, Tasco, Tasco, not Tasco, Israeli. I know, I, I you know, pigeonhole this stuff sometimes, but what can you do? Look at this. Now this is a, what do they call it? Triple A grade. I'm not sure if that's, yeah, triple A grade tiger's eye. These are the biggest tiger's eye necklaces I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Like even if you don't like tiger's eye, you've got to respect this particular gorgeous. I mean, it is like bull's eyes and it's unbelievable. And I really should have put better lighting on for my preview, but I didn't. Anyway, oh, it is heavy though, but this is huge. Sterling findings. Um, I have no idea who made it. Oh my God, look at that. Unbelievable. When I say heavy, I mean heavy. This is like, I don't know, uh, massive. I'll just tell you, just to give you an idea, 
How much does this baby weigh? This weighs 278 grams. <laughs> so we're talking massive chunk. It's a nine inch drop. So it's not like it's long, you know, um, but it's a nice drop. Um, it is just amazing. Um, beautiful piece. Um, I'm only gonna have it hanging right now for like this. I don't think these type of necklaces, they'll get, you know, stretched out if you keep them hung too long. So I'm gonna take it off the bus, but for tomorrow evening at the show, I'll have it on the bus as well. Um, yeah, anyway, this will be for a very reasonable price. Let me see what I, did I already price it? I don't know. I did, and I think it's a very reasonable price. Do your uh, pricing on uh, AAA. These are huge. I, I don't even have the Milla, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. How big each nugget is, but anyway, very cool. Coolness, coolness. Okay, I'm sure there's gonna be so much more. Oh, I have another. I did show you all last week of sneak peek. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring it, but then I said, okay, sure, I'll bring it. Why not? Um, I don't know. Uh, this gorgeous vintage Tasco with the card faces. This is an example of someone cleaning the sterling, in my opinion, too much. Um, it will, you know, <laughs> tarnish. But because this is such an old piece, I personally would have liked to have seen a little bit more um, patina to it. Um, but what can you do? You know, um, this, like I said, this is a vintage piece. Um, it's in great condition. Uh, yeah. And this one is a bit small. I like, it. I like this one a lot. So anyway, this one, and then I sold something similar this, but it wasn't this, this one is, uh, who is this? This is George Jensen, Denmark. This is a George Jensen sterling silver dove brooch. It is signed right there and George oh, hold on might as well just open it up there we go so it's not his Peter wants his, oh can you even see it Charlie it's there uh this is his sterling I'm zoomed in at like a million percent anyway um gorgeous it's a really lovely piece nice size it's not too little or anything what size is it it is hmm. one and three quarters of an inch oh see can you hear I need to drink more water I apologize about that anyway it is a huge mishmash as always um so yeah i'll have earring i'll have everything um tomorrow i'm expecting a bunch more packages as well so anyway just keep in mind um i'm not doing pre-sales except if somebody is truly honestly interested in um the shriner trembler um just because i don't uh it's not in my wheelhouse i do know a little bit about the value of it you know what i'm saying um so uh yeah but I am super reasonable as well. I got it for a pretty darn good price. So anyway, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. If you're still here, thank you so much. Don't forget to give the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want me to bring. Um, you know, I do have a little tiny bit of deco, which I've not shown. You know, I always have a little bit of everything because it's what I like. I buy what I like. <laughs> so hopefully you like it too. Anyway, thank you so much. I'm going to give you all hugs and love. Please be safe out in this crazy, wonderful, wild world we all live in. But don't forget to be kind to yourself. It always starts at home first. Okay. Hugs and love. Bye-bye. Hope to see you. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow evening. Duh. Um, I'm still aiming for 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. It might have to switch. Um, because my son is back in school, but as far as tomorrow goes, we're still on at 4 p.m., which is 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, Mwah. love you all. Bye-bye.